Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, when I asked the Prime Minister about Russian meddling in UK elections, he looked very shifty before claiming he wasn't aware of any. Yet, when he was, when he was Foreign Secretary, when he was Foreign Secretary in 2017, in a joint press conference with the Russian Foreign Minister, when Lavrov claimed there was no evidence that Russia had interfered in UK elections in any way, the now Prime Minister corrected him by saying there was no evidence of successful interference. So can the Prime Minister tell us what evidence he has seen of unsuccessful interference? Has he actually read the Russia report, which is very clear that there is credible evidence of interference? And given that And given that, as his Defence Secretary said earlier this week, information is as powerful as any tank, can he explain why he's turning a blind eye to allegations of Russian disruption oh, order. and playing oh, oh, order. 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 I hope you're coming to the end of the question. I do need to go. Orlando. Speaker, I could be a lot faster if I wasn't being barracked by the side opposite. I think the challenge is that I do want to get the front benches moving quickly. We want to get speed into it, so I'm sure it's the end now. Given that, as his Defence Secretary said earlier this week, that information is as powerful as any tank, can he explain why he is turning a blind eye to allegations of Russian disruption? Why is he playing fast and loose with our order, national order. Prime Minister. I, I repeat what I told her ages ago, if I think I've got it right. I've seen absolutely no evidence of successful Russian uh, in, interference in any of, our, uh, any of any election or any electoral event, Mr Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Speaker. Thank, Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I welcome the uh, steps the Government is taking to help hard-working families in Orpington this year with their energy bills, and the majority of people receive at least £350 of support. But can my right honourable friend confirm that even those not eligible for the council tax rebate will still receive additional support thanks to discretionary funding set aside for local authorities. Yeah, yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, my, my honourable friend is absolutely right, and uh, I can tell him that uh, the people of Orpington and elsewhere uh, will receive support if, if, uh, if they don't qualify for the council tax uh, rebate from the £144 million fund uh, that he rightly mentioned.